Hello, brothers and sisters. Uh, this is Christina speaking today. It's uh, May 25th, 2023, and I hope you are doing well. And so, I have a message from the Lord. But before I share it, I want to confess that I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God who has come in the flesh on earth and died for our sins and was buried and rose on the third day. Hallelujah. Amen. We are watching for the rapture, brothers and sisters. We know the time is running out very quickly. And this is why we must watch, pray, and be ready every day. Because nobody knows the day or the hour except God alone. We are living in the last moments. The rapture can happen any day now if it is not the rapture your life may end today and this is why we must be ready every day i'm going to share with you a message from the lord and this is another warning this message is for those who worship Mother Mary, Queen of Heaven, Mother God, saints, angels, statues, pictures, and graves, images. The Lord said that worshiping these things is an abomination in his eyes. He said that all these things are idols. And he hates idolaters. If you're worshipping these things, brothers and sisters, you must stop and repent before it is too late. Time is very, very short. Repentance means go and sin no more. If you know anyone who is worshipping these things, please share this message because God does not wish anyone to perish. Time is very, very short. I'm going to share with you a dream I had from the Lord on May 4th, a few weeks ago, in which I was taken to a place where people were gathered in a prayer and worship. And suddenly, one of them said to me, Oh, the Virgin Mary appeared to us. When he stopped talking, I saw a statue of Mother Mary standing in front of them. They were worshipping her. Then I heard a voice saying to me, Mother Mary, is alive but go and tell people not to venerate her in other words not to worship her the dream ended i prayed seeking the lord for discernment and understanding of the dream i'm going to share with you what he said and his message. You might question this revelation from the Lord about Mother Mary being alive. And you're right because there is no scripture in the Holy Bible that shows us that the breast Mother Mary was taken to heaven after she died. The Bible is silent on that. However, you must understand that there are many things, secrets, things we do not know, except when God decides to reveal them to us. I'm going to share with you two scriptures the Lord gave me. And you will see that 
God can reveal to us these mighty things we do not know. Jeremiah 29 verse 13 And you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. Jeremiah 33 verse 3 says Call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. And so understand that God can reveal to us whatever he wants. And so please pray and take this message to the Holy Spirit for discernment and understanding. But what is very important, and this is the message from the Lord, is not whether you believe Mother Mary is alive or not. What is very important is not to venerate her, in other words, not to worship her because she's not God. For those who want to understand who the breast Mother Mary is, you might read Luke chapter 1. And I believe the breast Mother Mary deserves all our respect, but we must not worship her. And so, to be saved, you must believe in Jesus Christ alone. John 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world and gave his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins. And so whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3 verse 36 says, He who believes in the Son has everlasting life, and he who does not believe the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. Understand that Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. There is no other way. Jesus Christ is our God and Savior of all mankind. John 14 verse 6 says, Jesus says, I am the way and the truth and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. Hallelujah. And so, brothers and sisters, we must worship God only. The Lord said that many worship Mother Mary as the Queen of Heaven and others worship Mother God. He said that some people believe that his bride is the Mother God. He said that this is not the truth, brothers and sisters. He said that there is nowhere in the Bible where it shows that the bride, Rami's wife, is the mother God. And so, if you are worshiping Mother Mary as Queen of Heaven or the bride, Rami's wife, as the Mother God, you must stop and repent before it is too late because you are 
provoking God to anger, brothers and sisters. I am going to share with you a few scriptures from the Lord in order to understand what God is saying about those who worship these things. Those who worship Queen of Heaven. Jeremiah 7 from verse 17 to 21. Do you not see what they do in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem? The children gather wood, the fathers kindle the fire, and the women need dough to make cakes for the queen of heaven, and they pull out drink offerings to other gods that they might provoke me to anger. Do they provoke me to anger, says the Lord God. Do they not provoke themselves to the shame of their own faces? Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Behold, my anger and my fury will be poured out on this place, on men and on beast, on the trees of the field and on the fruit of the ground, and it will burn and not be quenched. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, are the burnt offerings to your sacrifices and eat meat. He gave me another scripture which also talks about Queen of Heaven, Jeremiah 44, from verse 17 to 30. Brothers and sisters, if you are worshiping these things, you are the haters of the Most High God, and you are provoking God to anger. You must stop and repent. I'm going to give you another scripture from the Lord. And this is the commandments of God about his worship. Exodus 20 from verse 3 to 6. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself a carved image, any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord you God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me, but showing mercy to thousands to those who love me and keep my commandments. Brothers and sisters, If you are not convinced by these scriptures in order to stop worshiping these things, I don't know what else will convince you. This is your decision. You must stop worshiping these things and repent because we don't have much time left. I hope you are listening. I am only here to give you the message from the Lord. It's up to you to make the right decision. And so, um,
my understanding, we must cleave to God alone and not to be for any other. We are forbidden to worship even the true God by images, especially when they are set up in the holy place. This is an abomination in God's eyes. You might read Matthew 24, verse 15, to understand what God is saying about these things. We are forbidden to make the image of God. Read Isaiah 40, verse 18 and verse 25. Making the images of God is the changing of the truth of God into a lie. This is Romans chapter 1, verse 25. The Lord said that when you worship him, you must not have any image before you for directing, exciting, or assisting you to your devotion, because this will not please him. Brothers and sisters, we must worship God alone. If you have these things at home, you must destroy them and never worship them again because this is an abomination in God's eyes. The Lord said to me, tell my people not to take my name in vain. When he said that, he gave me a scripture, Matthew 15 from verse 7 to 9, which says, these people draw near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me, and in vain they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. Brothers and sisters, stop taking the name of God in vain. I used to have these things at home. I used to have the pictures and images of Jesus until he commanded me to destroy everything. I don't know if you have watched all my videos. Two of them have the images of Jesus. I tried to delete them, but I couldn't. I asked the Lord if he wanted me to delete these two videos, but he wanted me not to delete them, but I repented from the bottom of my heart, for I have used these evil images with these videos. The Lord said that when you have these images, the pictures, you called the pictures of Jesus, he said that all these things, when you have them, eventually 
you become addicted to them. Then you are tempted to worship them. He said that Satan and his demons love those things. When you have those things at your home, you have given rights to Satan and his demons to come into your house. And this is why many are being attacked without even knowing it. And so, please stop having those things at home because they are not Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our God and Savior. When he said that, he gave me a scripture, John chapter 4, from verse 23 and 24. Worship God in spirit and in truth. God is spirit, brothers and sisters. Then the Lord told me to remember 2 Corinthians 11, verse 14, which says, For Satan himself transforms himself into an angel of light. I hope you are listening, brothers and sisters. Those pictures you call Jesus, those images of God you have at home, those statues, you must destroy them. He gave me a scripture which will help you to understand. Revelation chapter 1 from verse 9 to 19. And this is a vision of Son of Man which was given to John. And so, if you read this scripture, it will give you an idea of how Jesus Christ looks like. I hope you read Revelation chapter 1 from verse 9 to 19. The Lord said that many worship the angels and the saints. This is an abomination in his eyes. He gave me Hebrews chapter 1 verse 14 and the Lord told me that angels are his servants and so we must not worship them. We must not worship the saints neither. He gave me another scripture, Revelation 22 verse 9. And this is a vision that was given to John. And so John wanted to worship the angel and the angel rebuked him and told him to worship God only. And so understand that, brothers and sisters, we are not allowed to worship these things. We must worship God alone. I hope you understand this message. Matthew chapter 4 verse 10 reminds us to worship the Lord God and serve him only. Nothing else must be allowed to take his place. Please share this message with our brothers and sisters because time is very, very short. If you have not given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, turn to him right now 
receive and accept him as your God and Savior. Believe and repent of your sins. Time is very short. Once you have received and accepted Jesus Christ as your son, as your God and Savior, you believe in him, then get baptized of the water and spirit. Being born again means you believe in God, you love him, you obey him, and you keep his commandments. Time is very, very short, and only those who are ready will be taken in the rapture. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in your Son, his name, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and on the whole world. God bless you.